Hey there, fellow cat enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into the more nuanced and often overlooked topic of feline emotions. Yes, cats have feelings too, and just like us, they can experience the blues. So, let's embark on a journey to uncover the lesser-known signs that your whiskered companion might be feeling a bit down in the dumps. Now, we all know cats are notorious for their aloof demeanor, but depression in cats isn't as easy to spot as, say, a dog with a droopy tail. Cats are masters at hiding their emotions, and they don't come with a built-in mood ring. But fear not, intrepid cat parents, there are subtle signs that might indicate your feline friend is going through a rough patch. Let's talk appetite. Cats are usually enthusiastic eaters, and a sudden change in their dining habits can be a red flag. If your once food-loving fur ball is now pushing the food around in their bowl rather than digging in, it might be a sign of the feline doldrums. Keep an eye out for any noticeable decrease in their usual chow-down enthusiasm. Next up, let's discuss the cat version of a Netflix binge, sleep patterns. Cats are known for their love of napping, but excessive sleeping or a sudden change in their sleep routine might indicate something deeper. If your cat is hitting the snooze button more than usual or, on the flip side, seems restless during what should be peak nap time, it's time to pay attention. Grooming is another feline behavior that can reveal a lot about their emotional state. While a healthy cat is typically a meticulous groomer, a depressed cat might let their personal hygiene routine slide. If you notice a decline in grooming habits leading to a less than lustrous coat, it could be a sign that they're not feeling their best. Keep an eye on their social habits. Cats are known for their independent nature, but even the most solitary feline can feel the sting of loneliness. If your cat, who used to be the life of the kitty party, is now isolating themselves or avoiding social interactions, it might be a sign that they're dealing with some emotional turbulence. Vocalization can also be a clue. While some cats are naturally chatty, a normally talkative cat going silent, or, conversely, a usually quiet cat becoming more vocal might signal emotional distress. Listen to the tone and frequency of their meows. They might be trying to communicate something beyond their usual demands for treats. Changes in their play behavior can be significant too. If your cat, who once had the energy of a kitten on catnip, is suddenly disinterested in playtime, it could be a sign of the kitty blues. Lack of interest in toys or interactive play might indicate a decrease in their overall happiness. Watch for any changes in their posture and body language. A depressed cat might exhibit a hunched posture or appear tense. If you notice a lack of the usual graceful movements or reluctance to engage in their typical feline activities, it could be a sign that something is amiss. Changes in the litter box routine can also be indicators of emotional distress. A cat dealing with depression might have changes in their elimination habits. This could include going outside the litter box, a decrease in the frequency of litter box visits, or even excessive digging. If you notice any deviations from their usual bathroom routine, it's time to investigate. Now, let's talk about the ultimate mood indicator, their tail. A cat's tail is like an emotional barometer. If you notice a constant low or puffed-up tail, it might be a sign of stress or depression. A happy cat generally has a relaxed tail, so any deviation from their usual tail language is worth noting. If you have a multi-cat household, pay attention to their interactions. A cat dealing with depression might exhibit changes in their relationships with other feline family members. Increased aggression, avoidance, or a significant shift in their usual social dynamics might indicate emotional distress. Lastly, let's talk about the great outdoors, or lack thereof. If your cat, who once embraced their inner explorer, is now showing a lack of interest in the outside world or has become hesitant to venture beyond the front door, it could be a sign that they're not feeling as adventurous as they used to. It's important to note that these signs are subtle, and depression in cats can manifest differently from one feline to another. If you observe any of these behaviors persisting or worsening, it's crucial to consult with your veterinarian to rule out any underlying health issues and discuss appropriate interventions. In conclusion, understanding the signs of feline depression allows us to provide the support and care our cats need during challenging times. Our feline friends may not wear their hearts on their sleeves, but they certainly communicate through their behaviors. Now, here's a question for you. Have you ever noticed subtle signs of depression in your cat, and how did you help them through it? Share your experiences in the comments below, and let's start a conversation. If you found this video insightful or know someone who might benefit from it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with other cat enthusiasts, and subscribe to our channel for more insights into the world of feline care. Until next time, happy cat parenting!